Jessica Pilts and I work at Fiera Real Estate UK. I've been working in ESG within real estate for about 12 years. So I started my career in asset management and then um, sort of took more of a specialty into sort of green buildings and understanding, you know, the impact in terms of value. And this was back in 2010 mm -hmm. um, or nine. And um, then I started working at MSCI Real Estate, it was then called IPD, where I managed um, our global sustainability services and sort of benchmarking, creating green indexes. And then I moved to the Royal Bank of Scotland, now NatWest, where I set up processes that took into account uh, environmental and sustainability risk when looking at lending propositions. And now I'm at Fear Real Estate and I oversee our sustainability initiatives across our investment and development funds. One of the points I, I always get across is that there's a couple of things really, but one, you know, addressing that zero carbon and the ESG agenda in, in its sort of holistic sense isn't just about doing the right thing anymore. It actually makes good business sense. Um, the market is going to decarbonize and, and we really want to be on the right side of that, um, which is why at Fear Real Estate, we're putting strategies in place to, um, you know, move our portfolios to, you know, transition to a low carbon, low carbon economy. Um, and the other point that I often like to talk about is, and I know it's in the title, is when will the real estate winners emerge? But I'm quite passionate about the fact that ESG and the race to net zero carbon shouldn't be used as a value add proposition. It shouldn't be a race. Um, we shouldn't be sort of highlighting how, you know, who the lead is, et cetera. And I, and I know that's ultimately going to, to come out, but I think as a sector, we need to be working together and collaboratively to make sure that we're all on that race to net zero carbon and that we should all be driving change within the industry rather than talking about who are the winners. We should be, you know, lifting up those who, who aren't on the journey. Well, given that real estate accounts for, I think it's like 40% of the world's global greenhouse gas emissions, and I think 30% of the UK's operational um, energy use, I think our sector has a key role to play in um, helping the government meet its um, targets of 2050, but also just, um, you know, as a nation, especially particularly in the UK, our investors and, and asset managers um, have a key role to play because we are sort of leading, I guess, as, a, as an economy. Um, but I think we have a key role to play in helping um, you know, that transition to, to make sure that we are decarbonizing and that we are taking the steps that we need to um, to drive change and, and influence the rest of the industry to, to move forward. Um, obviously, there's so many role players within the within the industry, such as tenants and developers. But as asset owners and, and uh, investors, we get to, and to some extent, drive that change. We can sort of collaborate with our tenants to make sure that you know they also adhering to to the targets that we need to be setting and then also with our developers making sure that the buildings that we're building today are fit for the future so i think that we have a very critical role to play in ensuring the, the decarbonization of the real estate sector biggest opportunities well i think the, the one of the the obvious ones is to protect long-term value and resilience. So if we don't start addressing sort of climate change risk, um, as well as decarbonization, um, we're really going to be um, putting ourselves in a position where our assets could become stranded. So the opportunity now is to really make sure that we're protecting um, the sort of uh, long-term value and resilience of our ass assets for our investors. Um, and I suppose the other opportunity is that um, the longer we take to address, you know, decarbonizing, um, the, the, the bigger cost is going to be when we're having to incur capex costs and improvements that we need to make later on um, to meet these regulations anyway but also you know the cost of carbon is going to increase significantly so again we want to be on the right side of that change so there's a lot of opportunities um, you know we have a very strong tenant engagement program at Fiera Real Estate UK and, and that's very important and critical to our strategy because of the nature of the leases that we have within our portfolio. They're all sort of single let FRI leases. So, you know, it's a, it's a big opportunity for us to also collaborate with tenants and, and to work together to, to kind of see this change through. I think ESG really represents a good opportunity to work collaboratively as an industry. I think um, using it as a value proposition is, is sort of, um, we're almost a decade too late for that. I think it's really imperative that, um, you know, we are drivers of change and influence in the markets and that we use our successes to, to really inspire further change rather than, you know, sort of focusing on, on you know, who's, who's leading and who's not. <laughs>